Hi guys, welcome back to Walk with Jesus. Today we're going to be talking about the Word of God. Here's five things about the Word of God. So we know in 2 Timothy, I'm getting me the Timothy. So we know in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, we know that the Word of God is God. It's inspired by God. The Holy Spirit is the author. And we know number two is used for correction and rebuke. Number three, it searches the heart. And we know that in Hebrews 4, verse 12 to 13, that Word of God is alive and powerful. It's a living word. The word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than any two sharper than the sharpest two edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes, and he is the one to whom we are accountable. We know the word of God is Jesus, because Jesus is the word, became flesh. And number four. The word of God guides us, and we know that in Psalm 119. So the word of God, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Number five, we know to learn who God is, his character, who is. If you want to know and have a relationship with God, read the word. This helped me so much. When I first got saved, and I, I was taking that for, for granted that I knew the word, but once I started to seek God more and read his word, I started to understand and know when it was him speaking to me and uh, to decipher and have more discernment. I had more discernment when I knew who God was. And not just reading the word, but reading the word with the guidance of the Holy Spirit who wrote the word. Who better to know, um, to read a book with than the author himself, and that is the Holy Spirit. So... Uh, we know that all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. We need to understand that, guys, that God disciplines those that he loves. Now, I have six questions for you guys for my next video on do not harden the heart. Heeding and listening and obeying the word of God is very important. Applying the word of God is important. Speaking out the word of God is important. When you read the word of God, here's a tip for you, read it out loud. Because like we just heard, the word of God is alive and powerful. It is a living word. The word of God endures forever. And no matter your situation, no matter what you're going through, the word of God is there to help encourage us. It's there to change our situations when we speak the word of God as believers. Understand that you need to heed and be obedient to the word of God. We're going to be talking about obedience and do not harden your heart. So uh, we also know that scripture speaks of light and darkness. What does light have to do with darkness? We know that when you read the word of God, strongholds are broken. The en Whatever the lies of the enemy was, the mind is renewed. Strongholds are broken, cast down. For the weapons of our warfare and our carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. When you speak the word of God, and take authority you can only use that power and authority that jesus has given you by applying the word everything that has to do with the kingdom of god has to do with faith it's a heart matter and that's why i'm going to be speaking to you about the heart we know that even when jesus was tempted he used the word of god the devil tried to take the word and take it out of context do not take the word out of context always read the word of god in context don't just read one verse because it can cause a lot of confusion read everything in context try and do your own research and understand it better in the original um, text and then NLT is one of the easiest way to read and understand it's an easiest translation but I would use New King James version which is a bit more difficult but um, going back to Hebrew and Greek in Mark for we know the parable of the sower and we understand from that that there are four types of people who receive the word of God and what happens to them when they receive the word of God